you are appreciating the evolution of your desire. You are enjoying your unfulfilled desires. This is a test, a very important test. <laughs> you are appreciating those desires that are unfulfilled that you have been holding for a while. Those old stale ones. Harder, isn't it, to appreciate those things that you've been wanting that do not seem to come to fruition fast enough. And really, once you begin to understand that you are vibrational beings and you learn how to align the vibration of your being with that which you are, then there will never be a reason ever for those desires to become old and stale. Because when you ask, it is always given. You come forth into this time-space reality with all of this magnificent contrast. We see it as magnificent. Sometimes you do not quite see it that way. But from your broader perspective, you do. For as the contrast surrounds you, it helps you to define your preference. Every consciousness, whether it is the one-celled amoeba in the ocean or whether it is the full consciousness that you call human, every consciousness evaluates contrast at conscious and unconscious levels. And out of that experience comes a preference, whether you speak it or not. It emanates from you vibrationally. And every time a preference emanates, Source answers it. Every time, no exception. So we like to say in simple terms that there are three steps to the process of creation. The first step is ask, and you cannot help but ask because contrast helps your preferences to be born. Whether you mean for that to happen or not, it's just a consequence of evaluating contrast. So step one happens without much conscious awareness, although it is fun when you become very conscious about what you want. Step two is not your work. Source always answers when you ask every time and immediately. But step three is the part that we focus upon most powerfully when we are together like this because step three is the allowing part. Step three says you must be a vibrational match to what you are asking for or what you are asking for cannot come to you. So if you've been desiring something like more money or an improved bodily condition or an improvement in a relationship and you say, I've clearly asked for it, why is it not coming to me? Why do I not have this thing that I'm asking for? And then you begin to notice that you are so aware of where you are that the majority of your attention goes to what is. So as you look at what is, you emanate a vibration about what is. You could not set your radio on 98.6 and hear what is being broadcast on 101. They are different frequencies. And if you are predominantly offering a vibration that is consistently different from the vibration of your desire, then you are on different frequencies also. The signals have to match up. Your work, really your work, your only work, is to get into vibrational alignment with that which you are desiring. You are extensions of source energy, you know that? You are magnificent creators and you've come forth with a powerful intention to create deliberately in this environment. You are true extensions of source energy and when you are in absolute alignment with the source that is you, you can feel that alignment. That alignment feels like joy. It feels like appreciation. And you can feel when you're not so much in alignment too. You can feel when there is resistance within your vibration that is not allowing a clear circuit of connection. Jerry and Esther have a navigational system in their motor coach. It is called Magellan. And there are some satellites in the sky and an antenna on the roof and a computer brain inside the vehicle. And when they have a destination that they want to arrive at, they program in the city and the street and often even the street number. And Magellan calculates the route between where they are and where they want to be. If they deviate from the route that Magellan has given them, if they stop at a roadside or take a little detour to a restaurant, Magellan will say, please return to the highlighted route. 
please return to the highlighted route. If they get going the wrong direction, occasionally it happens when they change drivers. <laughs> Magellan will say, when possible, make a legal U-turn. She is relentless about it. Once you have told her, it is a woman's voice. The man's voice was far too bossy. <laughs> Once you have told her where you want to go, she is relentless about letting you know where you are in relationship to where you want to go. Magellan never says, where have you been? Because it is irrelevant to what you are about right now. Magellan never says, how long have you been there? Magellan never says, I gave you directions and you didn't follow them. Now I'm not going to give you any more. That's your mother's voice you're hearing there. Magellan has only one mission, and that is to get you from where you are to where you want to be. And you have a similar guidance system within you. It is called your emotions. You are beautiful, physical beings, and you see yourselves in your bodies. You certainly are material. You are flesh, blood, and bone. But you are far more vibrational than anything else. You are far more an electrical being or a vibrational being than you are anything else. Everything about you is that. What you smell with your nose is vibrational interpretation. What you see with your eyes is vibrational interpretation. What you feel with your fingertips, everything about your physical senses is vibrational interpretation. You have a guidance system within you that is letting you know in every moment the only thing that matters, and that is your alignment with who you really are. Think about it. When you say, I desire whatever it is, and Source says, here it is, here is the avenue for you to receive whatever it is, and you are feeling joyful about the idea of it, now you are in alignment with your own desire, and circumstances and events are being aligned for you. But if you have said, I want such and such, and then you spend your time saying, but where is it? When you say, I need more money, but I have not enough. Or more importantly, when you say, I want more money, but you feel the insecurity or even the fear of not having enough money. What is happening is, without meaning to, you've become so accustomed to noticing how things are that you have begun to practice a vibration. In fact, you've practiced it so well that it has become what you call a belief. We would call it an activated thought that is so often activated now it's a dominant activated thought so it's just how you feel which means it's how you vibrate relative to some subjects and when you get a vibration going that says I don't have enough of something or I'm too fat or I'm not smart or I can't find something when that is the active vibration within you you can't buck that current in other words you see people sometimes because of the circumstances of their environment they get focused upon something that is real in other words we know it's real they say Abraham it's true should I not give my attention to it and we say that truth thing is tricky because anything that you actively give your attention to for a long enough period of time that it's dominant within your vibration will manifest around you. In other words, you make your truth. So saying, I should focus upon this thing I do not want because it is true, is like saying, well, somebody else focused upon it and made it active in their vibration long enough that they have manifested. And so since they have done it, I should do it too. And what we would say to you instead is, be very particular about the things that you want to live and give your attention to those things that you want to live and practice giving your attention to things that feel good and as you do so you will activate them in your vibration enough that they will become a vibrational proclivity you will activate them often enough that they will become your habit of vibration and when that happens, then you are in vibrational alignment. Your signals line up. You've got your tuner set to the same frequency of your own desire, and it must come. We have a sort of, well, really important announcement to make to you today, and that is you cannot get it wrong, and you'll never get it done. And the reason that you can't get it wrong is because it will never be done in other words you are we are you are we are all eternal beings we never stop being and good never stops flowing to us Oh, you can get focused in a way where you pinch it off pretty good 
and it will appear that good is not flowing but it is not because you're not asking and it's not because source is not answering it's because you have somehow some way achieved vibrational alignment with something other than your own desire the good news is your guidance system lets you know every single time where you are that's what negative emotion means negative emotion is saying when possible make a legal u-turn in other words negative emotion is saying what you're focused upon right now which you clearly have the right to do is so activated in your vibration and the signals are not matching up so the vibration of your desire is one vibration but the vibration of where you are giving most of your attention is another and so there is resistance within you and that emotion that you feel whether you call it fear or anger or frustration it doesn't really matter the name of it in every case it is the same thing it is vibrational resistance there are many emotions that you feel and your emotions are all about the only thing that really matters which is your relationship with your source so as the contrast of your environment inspires or stimulates desire or focus or wanting from you that desire is literally summoning this is a universe that is based upon attraction there is no assertion there is no exclusion anywhere in this universe in other words when you see something that you want and you say yes to it you include it in your vibration but when you see something and you, that you don't want and you say no to it you include it in your vibration so shouting no at something is the same thing as saying come to me this thing I do not want because there is no yes or no there's only attention to it or not attention to it you cannot just cease giving your attention to something but you can give your attention to something else so when you make a decision nothing is more important than that I feel good what you're actually saying is I have decided that I am going to feel my way through my days and do my best to find thoughts and words and actions that align with what feels best to me so many physical beings are going about life in such a hard way because instead of living from the inside out they are trying to do it from the outside in so to speak and we understand how it happens when you see something that makes you feel good you say yes I want more of that I would like to vote for more of that I would like to join committees that promote more of that and when you see something that you don't want that makes you feel bad when you see it then you say we need to make laws about that and we need to find ways of prohibiting people from doing that that makes us feel bad but there is enormous entrapment for you if you approach life in that way because what that means is you have to work very hard at controlling all of these circumstances that you cannot control where when you decide I'm going to set my tuner to what is a vibrational match to what feels good then by law of attraction only those things that are a vibrational match to the vibration that you're emitting come back to you you don't set your radio tuner on 98.6 and worry about 6 30 a.m. being played instead in other words you know that you're gonna get what's being broadcast from the transmitter that you set to and the same thing is true about everything you get in every single case no exceptions exactly what your vibrational output is sometimes things may not be going the way you want them to even Esther from time to time will say Abraham I would like to be the one exception in all of the universe I would like to get what I want never mind where my vibration is and never mind what I am attracting give me what I want just make the, me the one exception and I'll be really good from now on she will say <laughs> but we say one thing about law of attraction is it's a very powerful law and it is always consistent it always matches your vibrational frequency and the wonderful thing about that is once you begin paying attention to the way you feel and once you begin noticing the correlation between what you're thinking and feeling and what's coming to you then you begin to recognize you say oh I saw that coming I could feel that coming I recognize the feelings and thoughts that have been moving through me that are a match to this thing that has happened because it cannot ever be otherwise <laughs>